There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defence against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome. To Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you.
beechwood and dragon heart string. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. Ebony and unicorn hair, eight and a half inches, springy. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. My goodness, definitely not. Beechwood and dragon heartstring, nine inches, nice and flexible. No, definitely not. Beechwood and dragon heart string, nine inches, nice and flexible. Ebony and unicorn hair, Ed holly and phoenix feather, eleven inches, nice and supple. Very curious. Sorry, but what curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. Why its brother gave you that scar? Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter.
Yuck! Grass flavour! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Mmm, marmalade! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Over here, Mr. Potter. Oh, sprout. Oh, bogey. Fishy. Spinach flavor. Ugh. Earwax flavor. Ugh. Liver. Ugh. Earwax flavor. Ugh. Mmm. Marmalade. Flavor. Mmm, coconut. Yuck. Mmm, marmalade. Mmm, mm, coffee. Mmm, mm, coffee. Spit. Oh, bogey. Oh, sprout. Mmm, chocolate. Revolting. Vomit flavor. Ugh! Liver! Mmm! <sighs> marmalade! Oh, Bogey! Oh, Sprout! Bravo! Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful Flipendo knockback jinxes. If you'd kindly follow me. Coconut. I must aim my spells at them. <laughs> Spinach flavour. <laughs> Revolting. Vomit flavour. <laughs> Ugh. 
Oh, bogey. Revolting. Vomit flavour. Ugh, booger flavour. Mmm, peppermint. Yuck! Grass flavour! A wizard card! Felix Summerby 1447 to 1508, inventor of cheering charms. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. These imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with Flipendo, then pick them up and lock them in the cages. <coughs> if you'd kindly follow me, flavor Ugh, liver mmm curry
Alberta Tootill, 1391 to 1483, winner of the All England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430, famously overcame the favourite Samson Wiblin with a blasting curse. to cast a spell while moving. You need to target the shield on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Well done, Mr. Potter. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! Well done, Mr. Potter. Godric Gryffindor. Medieval, dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. If you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once, gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh, wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. Mm. 
man? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming! We'd better go! Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Well, it's really great being famous. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my remember all. Oh, well, it's really great being famous. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. Do I know you? Ah, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. It's been a long day. I'm for a nice mug of cocoa and a good night's sleep. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to... change. Come on, Harry. Get to the common room. We'd better follow Percy. Come on, Harry. Get to the common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. We'd better follow Percy. Dependo! Mmm, coconut. A wizard card! Cassandra Vablatsky, 1894-1997, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future.
keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> Firsties! What fun! <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Over here, Harry. Come on, Harry, get to the common room. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Password? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Get a move on, hurry! There are lots of people around Hogwarts who will trade wizard cards with you. Get a move on, hurry! A wizard card! Adalbert Waffling, 1899-1981, famous magical theoretician. You really should go and see Fred and George, Harry. They've got some brilliant stuff to trade. Out. Come here. Hey. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. 
Feel free to browse our extensive range of Wizard Weezes and Magical Merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates, in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. How much is a pack of stink pellets? It'll cost 20 beans. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that, did I? How much is this Bertie Bot's bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. A wizard card! Chauncey Oldridge 1342-1379 First known victim of dragon pox How much is the Edgar Struger card? It'll cost 30 beans. Why don't you come back when you have some Bertie Bots every flavour beans? Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. Be careful, Harry. Filch is not far away. Anything else? Anything else? You can come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. OK, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired. And I'm off to bed. Vomit flavour! Mmm, peppermint! I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. <laughs> <laughs> 